Hello everybody on the internet, my name is Joe Donahue. I'm a grown adult who makes grown adult money and spends it on toys. Today we're going to take a quick review, Pixie at the Brock Zerfoss 2022 164 Sprint Car Diecast. I got this from Farner's Racing Collectibles. This is Brock Zerfoss out of Jonestown, Pennsylvania. He is in his second season as a full-time outlaw. This is his first 164 diecast and you know I had to pick this bad boy up. This video is brought to you in part by B-Blaze Vintage and BRP TV. They are both linked in the description. And let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. Alright, so I took the box apart. Here's the first piece. Just the card. It says Moose's LZ on it. World of Outlaws. It has the part number. Those numbers are all different for all of the cars. Acme 2022 3Z. Moose's LZ Bar and Grill Sprint Car Brock Zirfoss on the bottom. On the back, more of his sponsors. Click Lewis. First class protection, C and D rigging, all the jazz. 3Z, Moose's LZ, and Zerfoss up top as well. So that's the card that comes in the box. And I will mention with the boxes. So last year, this is my example from last year. The uh, you had to cut the box open to get the car out, and it was not resealable. This year, they have done a new design where you can reclose the box, which is how the R and R and Ertl sprint cars have always been. So those, uh, you've been able in the past to reseal them and take them out. You could hang them up on the wall, all sorts of jazz. And last year you couldn't with those cars over here like that. Um, but Acme listens to their people when they get feedback, so they actually did it. And that I thoroughly appreciate. Alrighty, so here it is. So Brock Zirfoss is out of Jonestown, Pennsylvania, which is about 15 minutes away from where I live. So a lot of these sponsors are really close to my house, which I like. Brock races for Brock Zirfoss Racing, which means he owns his own car. It is his second year full-time with the World of Outlaws. Before that, he was a PA Posse driver. He raced his own car. He raced for Pete Grove with that beautiful number 70 car out of Ohio. He was the 2017 track champion at Port Royal, and he was not the Rookie of the Year last year, but he did contend for it with the World of Outlaws. So here's the car. This is the side you'll see from the box. Heavy equipment and loader parts. And Moose's LZ on the side with first protection first class outdoors on the front wing. The 3Z. And the car is all gray. There's the tail tank on the bottom of the top wing. In the back says Click Lewis, which is awesome. And then the left side of the car with the same sponsors as the right. The nose wing actually has some sponsorship on the inside this is just like a stellar touch c and d rigging on the top two and two on the front wing and yes admire and bask in the car's glory what a gorgeous machine so should you buy this car who should buy this car if you want it you should buy this car if you like collecting all the World of Outlaws cars, you should buy this car. If you like buying obscure cars that probably aren't going to keep getting made, you should buy this car, because I don't think Brock is going to get a car every year like some of the other guys do. And if you're from Pennsylvania, you should buy this car because Brock represents Central Pennsylvania on the national level. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully uh, you didn't hate this video. And if you didn't, give it a like. If you did, I'm sorry. And hopefully you guys check out some of the other lovely diecast reviews I have of the 2022 cars.